Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Crusader Kings 2. I'm starting another series, but it's not going to be a very long series. Or today it's January 1st, 769 AD. What I plan on doing is a, a bit of a limited series of sorts. I'm not going to do it all the way to 1453. What are you, nuts? <coughs> That's just I have my own goal set for this series and it'll be much much different than anyone else's goal like anybody out there that could be an empire so it's like the Abbasids down there with the Arabian Empire but over here in Central Europe I am playing as Bohemia which is the high chieftain of Bohemia back when at that time Slavic paganism was the religion of the land. Uh, that's what the what religion looks like at 716 AD. Okay, and then, um, again, uh, there's Bohemia and Moravia, and there's a uh, Nitra, which is a tributary to Moravia, which um, there's a lot of interesting features about this. Well, one as High Chief Nezamisil of Bohemia of the Semislid Dynasty. Uh, I am Czech, not Bohemian. Czech. That's what I am with this character. But don't mind me. I'm not Czech in real life. But he is chaste, charitable, honest, and patient. So it sounds like he's a very good <laughs> elderly statesman. And I'm sure you probably noticed, why does he look different compared to, you know, everybody else? Or you might have seen in that previous series. Well, there's a couple of mods that I have activated. Yes, this series will feature mods. <laughs> and it's a lot of mods that I've added. Still constantly updated to this day at the time of this recording which I thought this would be a good time to start recording this series now so um, listen closely these are the mods that I have activated <coughs> going down through uh, alphabetical order I'm just saying. Uh, what's active are advanced trade systems artifact and acquisition and overhaul mod better Slavic pagan mod um, CPR plus Cultures and Portraits Revamped, which is why he looks differently. Historical and Fantastical Artifacts. Lassus Buildings, which is just more buildings, especially in the feudal areas, but I'm um, tribal. Local Noble, <coughs> Local Noble Recruitment, version 5. More Pagan Artifacts. New Kingdoms and Cultures, which is why there's Czech and Slovaks and others. Patron Deities. Rebels and Warmongers. Republic Overhaul, Mansion and Trade Posts, Soulmates, The Great Trade League, Unique Buildings, University, Warrior Kings, and finally, Your Personal Castle. But, however, that last part of the mod, it only matters in the feudal areas. But here we're tribal. We don't really have all that stuff. So... Except for this one down there, but that's part of the uh, Better Slavic Pagan mod. If I have enough prestige to build that. And that other war camp, which is not to be confused with that other war camp, that's from the Lass's Buildings mod, which is named after the guy who made that mod. Lass something. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to you, whoever, unless I have to look you up at some point in the future. So, um, oh yeah, there's another thing. As I was looking up all the characters throughout the Slavic world, some have artifacts that I really, you know, do not have yet. Um, such as this one in this guy's treasury. The Pestle and Mortar of Baba Yaga. The Mortar and Pestle of Baba Yaga, while it is the symbol of great power, they are considered to be wholly unevil and corrupting. That thing is both a blessing and and a curse. Oh, over there in Nitra. Mind you, the guy is not Slovak. He's he's not Bohemian. He's Slovak. Eh, Slovak. Eh. 
and also he's a skilled axe wielder. This is due in part of uh, the Rebels and Mormongers mod, so they added some traits there. That's why all the traits are over there. The older ones used to be over there, but now diplomacy is over there. And this guy over here, he has this other Slavic artifact, Perun Stones. Lightning stones of Perun protect it against bad luck, evil magic, disease, and lightning itself. As you can see the benefits there. While over there, he's got some even more intriguing artifacts. Savrog's Hammer, or Svavrog's Hammer. The blacksmith god, so Svavrog, once struck a great rock with a hammer which gave birth to the gods of fire and wind. A powerful tool, a capable of, of creation, can also cause destruction. And a Raskovnik. Few people, if any, could actually recognize this herb. The Raskovnik could unlock any gate or padlock, regardless of its size, material, or key. That's right. This leaf opens locks. Pitch that in your head. This is all fantasy, mind you. <laughs> but why do these artifacts exist? Well, basically, this series, along with the mods that I've uh, chosen to go with it, we're just trying to make this world a little bit more fantasy-like than with the previous series I did with the Vukovic Tales. Oh, and over there, the Chief of Speech, he's got the Axe of Perun. This exquisite bearded axe is adorned with the symbol of Perun himself, a lightning bolt. It seemed to be the Thunder God's very own weapon. But however, this is only activated, as you can see down there. Yes, you have to be a Slavic faith. You are an adult. And you must have earned Perun's favor. Whatever that means. But if only I could steal it from it. Yes, you could steal artifacts. Like if I wanted to, I could take this guy's on Perun stones. But it only depends on your your intrigue skill, which seems pretty moderate. If I wasn't being so honest, <laughs> I'd be more deceitful. Or send someone else to do the work to uh, try the uh, try to steal that artifact. So yes, there are chances, depending on skill, that you could steal that artifact and bring it into your treasury. There are other more pagan artifacts out there. This is all part of the uh, artifact acquisition of an overhaul. That's why there's a bunch of them. They recently added those Slavic pagan artifacts, and they recently added a quite a bit more on the artifacts that's related to the Semenesco faith. And I'm sure coming soon, Germaniac, Romava, and Tangri. Oh, and don't forget West African. Alright. <laughs> There's more to tell um, throughout this uh, series because my goal early on is to form the Kingdom of Bohemia not just a kingdom of Bohemia, but once we grab Nitra, we'll form Slovakia as well. And once we have together and have enough prestige, especially 3000 prestige, we could form a Bohemian Empire, which is part of the New Kingdoms and Cultures mod. That's, that's our early goal for this series, one of our early goals. Form a Bohemian Empire, which is basically we're creating our own version the medieval version of Czechoslovakia. You just have to form the Kingdom of Bohemia, then form Slovakia, and then turn it into an empire. So that way I can have Kingdom of Slovakia over there, and Bohemia for me, as well as an empire. Which, by the world standards, it's going to be a small empire. That's how it's going to be for, for this early part of the series. <laughs> it's just we're going to expand down this way and try to make some money out of it by making certain neighbors uh, tributaries. Alright, one more thing before um, we get started. That's, um, <laughs> again, Czech culture, not Bohemian. The Slovaks live over there. <coughs> there are some other different cultures, such as um, Manx of the Isle of Man there. And the Cumbric uh, as well there. 
and I'm sure there are many, many more out there. Oh yes, uh, Slovenians as well. Although not yet appearing, and same for that region. That like, this is Greek culture right now in this county, but in the later starts, especially in the late Middle Ages, like 1337, you, you would see Albanians appear. And it's possible that there might be Bosnian culture as well. Same goes for Macedonian, Slavic Macedonians, not the Greek Macedonians. Don't get it confused and don't get hate with me <coughs> on who is what. And many different cultures. That's part of the New Kingdoms of Cultures mod. So, let's get together. Oh yes, more options. But for now, I have to become King of Bohemia. Because this is part of the early goal for this series. Since we want to become a kingdom, we have to go to war. Put on a war focus. Which, by the way, the bonuses are lessened. In order to be compensated. Like if you want to get more martial skill or your personal combat skill. Well, you could be like this person. Who's a sword enthusiast currently. But there are some other people in that realm that have a higher skill. Oh, and by the way, he's an informant. <coughs> and, uh... What else, what else, what else? Oh! Put a crown focus on Prague. Which is Prague to some of you people. Crazy only show will be my designated regent. Oh, this is recently uh, uh, added in that Artifact and Acquisition Overhaul mod, Treasury Guard. So it shall be Crezo Michel again. But you, my, what are you, you, my half-brother, will be guarding my book, Chronicle, Introduction. This chronicle will contain various know-hows from rulers of various dynasties. First chapter at 10,000. 10,000? What does that mean? I don't know. But you gotta protect that book. At all costs. No matter what. And Margetta will be my trade master. I'll be giving all of these titles to him since he's gonna be the next guy in line, I think. But however, we use a uh, elective gavel kind. That's what I mean. Elective gavel kind. So my vote is already to him. And we are a Czech tribal federation. That oh, reminds me. Train troops, build a legend so they'll have a chance that warriors will spawn, which there are needed during the war. Spymaster goes to Constantinople to study technology so we can get some technology points from there. Oh, and lastly, worship the ancestors. I have decided to visit the shrine in the Holy Grove and make a sacrifice in the honor of my ancestors. Hoping for their aid in return, what will ask me of my forefathers? Guide my sword in battle and let me conquer my enemies. And also choose a de patron deity. I was about to say it backwards. I should dedicate myself to a particular deity to let their power inform my rule. Well, since I'm all about martial skills, so I'll be dedicated to Perun, the Might Thunder. I'm gonna be a Peru man myself. Hmm. We're gonna fight a subjugation war to Moravia. This will be the first step into into what the hell is that go again? Oh yeah, form the Bohemian Empire. But we have to form a kingdom first by acquiring Moravia. The whole high chicken of it. Oh, and during wartime, um, 
I set my war strategy. My Marshal Chief Voyan and my commanders have gathered around the war table to discuss strategy. You may choose from a number of different approaches, each conferring benefits and drawbacks. And be, be aware um, that you cannot change strategy for 12 months after making this decision. Here's the other options. We're gonna strike our enemy hard. And my battlefield position. <coughs> I have summoned my commanders to the war table again to discuss battlefield tactics. I and may now inform them where I will station myself during combat. Um, fighting further forward grants a greater chance of gaining glory and respect, but also increases the risk of being injured, captured, or killed. Oh, okay, I said, uh, you know what I mean. This can be amended again whenever you're at war. What positions are available to me? This would hurt the morale, but this one is balanced. Uh, if I'm going to be a frontline warrior, I will lead my men from the front. And see, I got my helmet on. It's part of that uh, portraits mod. And uh, battlefield strategy and uh, position is a part of the uh, of the Warrior Kings mod. I ask my ancestors for military power and prowess in battle. Now it is time to present my offering. What will I give them in return? What is this? Not particularly fond of lisp people. May this soul serve you well in the afterlife. Sixty piety. <laughs> the, the offering struggled violently when the Zaritsa and her disciples pushed it down on the offering stones. The ancestors will surely be pleased with such a vigorous servant, and all I can do is wait and hope. May the ancestors bestow their blessing upon me. And now here's a more bonus for patron deity. <coughs> there are many deities um, who I may chose to honor. Will it be Perun, the god of thunder, the fiercest of the warriors, Yarilla, the springtime god of fertility, Svavrag, the powerful god of the sun and craft, or Moko, Shmutter of Gods. Since I'm a Perun man myself, I pledge my axe to Perun. I would give my life for his honor. Perun, a god of thunder, is the highest of all the gods. He sits on top of the world tree where he keeps watch over the earth and the skies. His sworn enemy is Velus, the serpent, who crawls up from the underworld to steal his cattle and children. On stormy nights, thunder is a sign of Perun defending us against us. I hope to prove myself a worthy follower. Let's get to dinner. Actually, put me in the center, and then Karo will be over here. Because if I put myself out of the flanks of an army, then there's this little uh, negative bonus. Uh, bad effect that it says you're not the leading at the front. So it hurts their morale. Unless if I, you know, played on the front. So rough the front, it's... My leech, the economy of the realm may be poor, but I must humbly request some funds for trading. I don't have that kind of money. Which reminds me. If one makes money, well, it's got to start somewhere. So focus on making a profit. I have nothing for you today. You're going to see this notification a lot. It looks like they're bringing their Slovak ally here. 
And also, all the army needs to stick with me. Yeah, we're in hard heads and besieging right now. And just hopefully we don't have to fight him unless um, Nitra gets together with them. I'm just trying to think, what is there more to tell from these mods? As where you are besieging that area. Well, oh yeah, there's this thing. This is this is a uh, one of the goals. If you control uh, one of the uh, holy sites, the Slavic holy sites, especially you have to get religious cousins. Level at least one. And you need a court search that must be made a genius or a great expert on religion, plus 16. So in other words, this is the closest holy site from Bohemia there, which is in Lesser Poland. So despite my ambitions to form Czechoslovakia, I'm at the mercy of Poland or up there in one of these uh, lands that's controlled by the... Uh, um, <coughs> by the Pomeranians, uh, I'll figure out pronunciation, uh, just a moment, if unless I remember. Or those proto-Russians up there, which they control that holy site there as well. Unfortunately, the best shot is let the Poles duke it out. Have them form the Kingdom of Poland. If they start fighting each other, then these guys up there have to reform their faith, not I. Not that anxious. Nitra is here. So once we besiege this tribe here and then the temple, then we'll fight them in Banar. They wouldn't dare refuse a fight. <laughs> oh yeah, and also after you control um, that holy site, you would unify the pantheon of the Slavic gods and then the second step is to write a holy book and the third and final step install a uh, install a guy who runs the holy site if he has high enough learning skill then he becomes the high priest and therefore the Slavic religion is reformed it's a three-step process and it's very very hard because there are chances of success and failure are doing these three steps because it'll cost you a lot of piety for this. Right, that's is taken. Now we just gotta take this temple of Litomisil. Speaking of the Missile, Shemisil. High Chief Shemisil, my father. Died a natural death at age 51. He was a nimble fighter, an arbitrary, brave, deceitful, and erudite. Yeah, he's a legendary figure, mind you. Yeah, there's a Wikipedia entry if you want to look up Shemisil and Nezomisil. All the way to Unisov uh, Shemisil. Um, <coughs> they're one of the mythic founder rulers of the Shemisil dynasty. Which they may or may not be real. The first documented Czech Bohemian ruler was Boriboy, and that's a hundred years after the fact. That's the reason why I chose the start date of 769 AD, because that's the only time where the Slovak ruler will appear. And it would be much easier to do the Czechoslovak run on this year compared to any other start dates. Right, now it's time to fight the the uh, Moravian and, and Nitrin uh, armies there. Never know. You're gonna see a bit of a combat difference because of the rebels and warmongers might see tactics change. Rain of air and the skirmish area close range. And you hear that I'm in battle. So the morale of the armies are up. And so are they. Failed to challenge. And it breaks through. 
risky charge, defensive formation. Daring pursuit, we got them. Even though they had the advantage of the hills and the Do what you can. Oh, hold on. Amongst the chaos, I see a warrior in in an ironclad armor covered in blood. My weapon shakes my heart and dances with my mind. Am I nervous or am I excited? <laughs> Go hard to him after. He's a lowborn, so... There's 33% chance that he may strike first. What is he? He's a swordsman. And he's he's had combat experience. Only through training. Screw it. Approach the war for a magnificent and glorious combat. I'm gonna get myself killed for this. Even though the battle is already over, but he's still here. Guard uh, mercilessly attacked me while my guard was down. Somehow, I managed to negate the damage by preparing the final blow. The mental scar that this moment will bring me will be far more painful. I think I'm going to lose this fight. After a tense clash, me and my opponent exchange a menacing gaze. Guard readies his weapon for the final clash head. As the wind sweeps the battlefield, there is only silence between the two warriors. This is it. And it looks like I'm going to lose. I could either be taken prisoner or be killed in action. I managed to parry every attack uh, guard threw at me. Um, with a swift swing, I finally disarmed my opponent. Oh, wow. At last, I've subdued him. Today, it is you, High Chief Nezamiso, who bathes in the glory and his guard who is buried in shame. Well... You are a low-born commander, so if you were the leader, I would have imprisoned you and the war would be over, so... Doesn't matter. I'll deal with the final blow of you. You're a nobody. Oh, hold on. After fighting a formidable bow, I become stronger and wiser in combat. Nothing will stop me now. And Voyan got some uh, train. Oh, oh wait, that's Koyata, one of our commanders. It's it's the marshal who is training him. I'm a spearman. That's that's where I am using my skill from. So I'm a genuine spear wielder. So I got a little combat skill up and morale defense. So I was wounded, but I'm not down. Say, this is an example from the uh, Rebels and Warmongers mod that there's a chance that you could fight a commander on the field. And it's a life or death situation. Kind of uh, determines the outcome of the war if you happen to be fighting the ruler of one's country. It's a dangerous, dangerous business is the war. That was a close one. You know, being wounded... Remember, duels like these, it determines on the outcome of the character's personal combat skills. Since I was wounded, so... I was a bit handicapped. But somehow, I overcame him, and I dealt with the final blow, and I decided to become a spearman. My son is a swordsman, while your daddy is a spearman. I don't know what Shemmy still was, but he was brave, apparently. My leech, the people of Constantinople have progressed them beyond our technological level. I managed to study their advancements and documents enclosed here and should help us reach their level. Hope you'll find this uh, to your satisfaction. Cultural means is excellent. That's what I need. Just for saving up for legalism. I was about to say, you dare you want to go again? Because I can arrange that for you. He 
you know, since I'm older and I'm at a relatively old age, so hopefully uh, this does not, you know, bite me in the ass, you know, dying early before war is over. Let this sun take over. Hopefully we'll beat him to it. Probably not. Well, I could speed it up, but I'm going to need that manpower to fight a future war with uh, Nitra. Again, priority is to form our own Czechoslovakia. Which, of course, it will take many, many years and money and prestige. Yeah, they're already taking the rodets, but um, I will get at them. Once I'm done taking over the Temple of Pavrov, and we're going to the... Or not. 100% war score, that means it's over. So I usurped the title of the High Chief of Mamoravia from Mormia. And I win. Oh, look at you, you became a spearman too. So there you have it. It's the High Chief of Bohemia. Have I had a lot of money? then this would be turned into the Kingdom of Bohemia. Now Nitra is still a tributary to Count Mormir, which he now is residing in Olomots. Just for that, you are going to be paying tribute to me. So I'm not done yet. And everyone will rally together to fight me, even the Moravians will get together again. Oh, all the mods and uh, Nitra fighting each other. That'll make our day a little easier. Until these other two tribal vassals come up. Rally to me, boys. Get rid of sink minutes. Get Carl over, yeah. We're on a march again. I just hopefully do not put myself in the danger again. Because when he takes over, he may not have as much as a martial skill. But he hasn't got his own painter data yet. Hey. No. Oh, don't do that. Mm -mm. Oh, they're going to all the ones, not for now. We're going to take it to their land. And wherever are they going, and I would be afraid of it. Chief Stromir approaches me. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument. Something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. I would require some gold in your patience, and the work would take a year to complete. Yeah, sure. Surprise me. We can get all that money through looting the holdings and, uh, 
and them paying tribute to us, which would get a little bit more income. Oh, yeah, it's Nitra. Or what's left of it. Since we crushed our army now. And I'm in battle, as you can hear the notification. Army eliminated. And let the siege begin. Actually, save our friends. Four strategies the same. Market village is complete, so this is what I mean by little income. How much? Hmm. Oh, they're going to be taking over raw debts pretty easily because it hasn't recovered from from that past war. And it's January, so you just saw all that popped up. Oh, they're not going to take over raw debts? I guess they are getting together. Putting special interest on just in case. Like, where are they going? All the months? See, we have the high ground now, and 4,000 troops, thanks to the Moravians. Remember, this isn't about territory, this is about them paying tribute to us as a way of hey, you will give us some money. What little you have. I guess they're trying to get together. I think it would make sense for them to defend their homeland while, you know, we're in their lands for that. We'll go after them in all the months. County is taking over. So I'm going to go take a risk and march down to Olomots. We may have the numbers, but they got some very good soldiers <laughs> for these uh, Slovaks. Especially their ruler, who's a very, very skilled with the axe. He could might as well be the axe murderer. Fight. Oh my goodness. If I get in a duel with him, unless he finds me, he's gonna kill me. The old wound has finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind. Oh. Fight them again in the mountains. Oh my god, what the hell is this?
Oh gee, everybody wants uh, Slovakia. Hi, Chita Manitra. Okay, once we get done fighting them... Arrow of Perun. Small and longitudinal stones which structured like a glass that Slav steed rim of lightning. Stones of various applications in medicine, rituals, and pagan magic. While wandering through the woods, I found the Arrow of Perun. I'll take it. Fighting's ongoing. The Arrow of Perun. Small and longitudinal stones which structured like a glass that Slav steed rim of lightning. Quick, get the grammar. I don't want them taking away any land. Just remember, this is a tributary war. They're gonna have to pay tribute to us. But, however, there are two counties. Oh, yeah, two counties want this county, which is from the county of Avaria, while the Trabatians, which is also known as White Croatia, wants the rest, especially Zolin and Goma. I'm not going to say that we made a mistake in fighting them, no. It's just you're going to make us harder to form uh, the Kingdom of Slovakia at the end of it. So after what we faced, once this war is over, I'm going to have to join them and fight off all of these enemies. I think. <laughs> because none of the tribal vassals will help me when it comes to wars like these. They're on their own. Plus the army size isn't... well... They're quite impressive. It's, as long as we work together we should be fine. Hopefully. Just do what you gotta do. End the, war, end the war already, will ya? Surrender, so we can help you out. Why is Nitron nice to come fighting at you? Oh, they're competing each other, I see. They're fighting each other. They both want that county. Prince Strong and High Chief Adam is like, No! This county is mine! That county is mine though, too! And so they're fighting each other. Well, better them than us. Better them than Slovaks. <laughs> oh, now they got him. Damn, I feel sorry for them. Not to mention they've had some very, very good soldiers. But what are these guys capable of? They're axe wielders. And those defenders are killing our men. Uh, don't confuse the High Chief Estagum with uh, Estagum County here. We're just held by the Khan himself. Skilled swordsman. This will be our enemy in the future. Be fighting the Avars. Which was a formidable enemy. Unless they break down in the Civil War, then we can take advantage of it. We have to take over that county, then help out Nitra. If it gets subjugated by them, then you, they're going to be giving us a hard time. Unless we subjugate 
fight a subjugation war, which would no doubt be hard against them, then... Just figuring my future, alright? Okay, stop. Okay, you are paying tribute. Now, we have to join you in your war. gonna be up in your alley. Gotcha. Offer accepted. Subjugation war is much more fun than you know. We may have the high ground, but we're more numerous. Fighting against our Slavic brethren just to keep our Slovak friends out of harm's way. Among the chaos, a warrior approaches me. Suddenly, the whole battlefield becomes silent. All eyes are fixated on me and the enemy warrior. It's the High Chief himself. He's skilled axe wielder and he's got much better personal combat skill than I do. He's gonna kick my ass, but. I'm willing to risk it all. I accept your challenge. My mind is clearer than ever. I'm uh, able to read my foes every movement. Uh, Vardoslav is in despair. Every attack he throws at me, I nimbly avoid. Time for a counter strike. Go! At the speech. After an intense clash of me and my opponent exchange a menacing gaze, Vardoslav readies his weapon for the final clash ahead, and as the wind sweeps the battlefield, there's only silence between the two warriors. I'm fifty he's fifty one and I'm fifty five. So look, I got lucky the last time, but I don't think I will be lucky on this one. This is it. Vardoslav dealt the final blow, the last thing I saw was his face. He yells in triumphant and I felt robbed of that battle. I should have won. However, I realize all, it's all, all over now. I understand now. There is no such thing as a glorious death. I have fallen. <laughs> High Chief Nezamiso feasts with the gods at the age of 55. He was slain by High Chief uh, Vardoslav of Chobatia on the battlefield. A chaste man. His honor was beyond refute. A godly man. Nezamisu is with Peru now. He was always a Peru man. High Chief Manat. A naive man. His reluctant nature may stop him from taking charge. Long live High Chief Manat. So be it. We still got a war going on. It ain't over yet. I have to lead to the front. And you're running on an organized war strategy? That's your idea? He's dedicated to Yarrillo. He's a follower of Peru. Wants to win the duel. But he's a sword enthusiast, but I'm not confident about this character's fighting abilities. Voyan, however, is going to be the next, uh, <coughs> the next High Chief of Bohemia, in case if he dies. So, I'll nominate him. Oh, 
I was about to say, did I pick? Oh shit. Where's. Oh, there it is. Drahu Mira. That's an awfully high intrigue skill. Should be good. That's my wife who is club footed and lustful and ambitious. So. Right, come on, we're holding up the wall. A messenger arrived today. High Chief Oroslav killed my father. High Chief Nezim is uh, in battle. I am lost for words, all the love and hate that I felt for my father was frozen in my mind. This pain will not live me. So I have become bitter rivals with the with the high chief over there. The high chief of White Croatia. Because of this he's become a great axe wither, so he'll be even harder to kill. But his army is on the run. Oh hell. I think we... Oh, that's for Nitro over there. He's over there. I think we may have to regroup. Get... <coughs> Get back to Bohemia. And regroup. Because we don't know how many we're facing in this subjugation war. really going on there. Now we're on the losing end. Oh, you captured uh, Stepan, one of the friends. Who, who dares? could get myself killed again. What do you mean again? Say this war strategy of this character that has it isn't working. But but it's gonna hurt the morale the uh, uh, defense uh, in the personal combat skill. What choice do I have? I have to fight him. This is a costly war. Guess I'll go for the center. He's gonna counter attack. Yep. He dodged it. He's coming in for the counter attack. I'm gonna fucking die. How long did he reign? Almost two months. He didn't even last two months. My chief Renata faced with the gods at age 38. He was slain by Seth Lord on the battlefield, prone to sloth. He never did anything, and he did not have to. A wicked man. Renata will surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. Okay, that wasn't positive at all. Hi, Chief Kresomiso. Being a talented military tactician, we expect him to lead us to many victories in the field of battle. Long live High Chief Kresomiso. We need to get the hell out of this country. And there's a good reason for it. Moravia is split. Go back home. 
We have to retreat, even though we're winning. We need to leave. The somber troops here regroup and retake those lands. This is all part of the Rebels and Warmongers mod. That's the danger of it. It, it depends on your personal combat skill. And it'll determine the outcome of a battle or perhaps the entire war. So, no, I am not wasting any more lives now. Not wasting any more lives. We spilled too much blood here. But hey, we got a court position. Sense to hope, uh, vote for the High Chief of Moravia, and if we knock them, we put them back in the Bohemia. It could go either way. So yeah, Nitro is a lost cause. But hey, at least we got money. He's got high martial skill. Skilled swordsman, brilliant strategist, see? We got a better warrior, but I'm not gonna risk myself out there. As I said, that battlefield is a lost cause. We'll get Nitra back in the future. And it will have Slovakia. It's just it's all about Bohemia now. just refill refill our uh, numbers then grab more of you and we'll be together and hopefully we'll have a better future okay. get the hell out of here Whose favorite do I have? Australia. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Okay. We're back home. I decided to disarm my armies. Just let it recover. We get our numbers back together. While we let them be subjugated um, by the white Croats. The reason why I call them white Croats is because the real Croatia is down there. Slavonia and Croatia. They're both high chieftains. This would be red Croatia. And despite the color configuration, this is white Croatia. That's what it was called historically. So now... more skills 15. But then again, I need every advantage I can get. But, but hey, we elected a guy who, um, who's got some pretty good martial skill. And he's got good combat skill that could be up this guy's alley even though he may think he's invincible but when whenever he dies and this successor takes over absolutely has no skill not at all what the hell but oh well we'll get them next time I think I'm about to do something drastic see what he's got there improves the martial skill and it's a cursed thing. And, uh... Wh who's guarding my treasury? No one. Is that right? No, it doesn't appear to be anyone. Unless that's you. Well, 
Okay. Oh, it's because I don't have any treasure. The book! It's gone! Manata used to have it. My nephew, he had it and then it's gone. We're gonna go steal his artifact. While we recover. High Chief Voyan of Moravia is known to have some artifacts in his possession. Which one will I go after? Before deciding to make sure I have someone I can trust available to help or might be harder to steal from my target. Look, it's blank because it's not a base game artifact thing. It's from a mod, so... Go get the motor and pistol of Baba Yaga. Who shall be my accomplice? I will begin once preparations are complete. What? My heir? To help him steal that artifact? Should I? <laughs> this sounds silly. <laughs> How am I going to convince him? Because, you know, he doesn't like me sometimes because I'm a cruel son of a bitch, but... Hey, boy in. How about you help me steal one of your things? Well, Marshal Ulrich uh, has suggested some interesting changes concerning how we train and equip our soldiers. He claims the ideas came from a flash of inspiration, and I'm sure we have the ancestors to think. Let's give these ideas a try. Increase light if it's true. We need to improve our combat skill. How do you convince the High Chief to go steal his own artifact? Isn't that what we call borrowing? I mean, I'm voting for him. Oh, and also congratulations to <laughs> Yeah, you are a warrior, but you're not doing well. He's been captured, so that means it's already over. All the wars are over. So watch the map change. Okay, I arrived at High Chief Moravi... Um, <laughs> High Chief Voyan of Moravia's capital. Up there in Litomitsa, rather than Olomots. As expected, it's heavily guarded. There are a group of soldiers group of guards at the main door, a servant's entrance at the back, and a window near the stables. Well, since I have a very high martial skill, so I'll force my way inside. Let's beat him up. <sighs> what am I doing for this end of the episode? A violent beginnings. This is a violent beginning for the first two years of this playthrough. And yet we're ending with something silly. I managed to evade most of the patrols until I come up outside the treasury. Two bored guards stand between me and my prize. Uh. Rush down before they raise the alarm. Come on, kick the ass. I have 77% chance of success. I, I'm feeling lucky. Yep. Nitra has been subjugated. And uh, Lage Changes causes their wars to uh, end over there. So now White Croatia has become a dominant Slavic state of that region. <coughs> Now that I have dealt with the guards, I am free to search the treasury for my target. Time is short, and the treasury is filled with documents, jewels, and many miscellaneous items. Oh, I don't like my chances. So, I guess I'll search carefully for the item. I'm going to get arrested for this. Why am I trusting Voyan to do this for me? I mean, talking about my kinsmen here. What the hell? What the hell am I doing with my life? Oh. 
Oops, I've taken too long and some guards found me. Sakra. Both get imprisoned? That's... No, that's bullshit. That means I get imprisoned and he doesn't. Why did I trust him? Okay. Uh... <laughs> I'm in no mood to get executed, but I'll fight my way out. But there's lots of them. But I've been imprisoned. Boyan, I got money. You want money? Oh, I can't afford the ransom. What have you done? What have you done? I failed in my heist and now I suffered the shame. And I become depressed. I am extremely disappointed in myself. I am an idiot. I am a big, big idiot. I guess I'll have to wait out my sentence then. We'll just have to skip the time. Is it possible that I can... No. Can't go to war. I should have brought my spy master. Yeah. Forever scarred. Wait a minute. Can I commit suicide? Hey, hey, hey! Stop, stop! Who's my ear? Voya, you can put uh, Bohemia back together. You're about as skilled as, as the other character. But he's relatively young. Well, time to do something stupid. I'm going to commit suicide. I tried, and I really, really did. But dark thoughts creep uninvited in my mind nonetheless. Knowing that I am not alone... Although it sure feels that way, being surrounded by people who do not see and, and cannot understand. Some days, uh, as that is worse than total isolation. I will meet my inner duel to death. I still got payback for him for what he did to my half-brother. Varoslav, I challenge you to the duel. I will get my payback. Or die trying. Hold on, we're not done yet. I will end this episode very soon. After I get, hopefully, get my payback at him. He may be a great axe wielder. And I kind of screwed myself up back there. And I can't get the war focus because I'm in prison. I don't think they'll be willing to release me. Wait a freaking minute. Is there a way that I can help him? Hey! Get me! Get him to release me, you know? Like money or something. But that's a vote thing. It doesn't say anything. Let me read. Uh, no, it doesn't say anything about, you know, it's like, hey, can you get this guy out of the prison? I mean, uh, he's kind of important to us, but, uh, no. Not gonna happen. Ah, shut up. What happened to the other guy? To the cruel grumbler, uh, High Chief Chrisomy syllable here. I will gladly rid of this world of your foul presence. Get your affairs in order and I will show you no mercy. He's playing right in my hands. <laughs> yes! 
Wait a minute, does being depressed affect my comments? No, just a martial bit. Oh my god, Kresomi, so what are you doing? Ever since you took the crown, you went on a retreat, you tried to steal an artifact. High Chief Erdoslav was easy enough to fool. He was so thirsty for my blood, he did not notice the feebleness of my attempts to pen up. It was only a moment before his blade found a hollow to my throat. A noble death. Well... Hey, is he a rival to... Well, n not just him, but... You're unforgiving. Anyways, a noble death. But then again, I did ask her because I wanted to commit suicide. I wasn't thinking about paying debt soon. I mean, what do you think it was? A fucking tease? Ah! Hi, Chief Kresla Michel. Faced with the gods at the age of 49. He was slain by High Chief Ferdoslava Travatia in personal combat. A shining example of diligence. His duty was never neglected. A godly man. Kresla Michel is with Lada now. Hi, Chief Voyan. A formidable duelist. We expect him to exile in tournaments and personal combat alike. Long live High Chief Voyan. Okay. This is the High Chief of Bohemia. So I'll make this uh, title. So here we are. Bohemia is back. And move the capital to Praha and the court here too. There we go. All is right in the Bohemian world. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta make some. Got some appointments to make. Oh, jeez. Close kin died in prison. Oh, the Baba Yaga. Get that off. That thing is cursed. Okay. So we'll end the episode here, because that first episode, unlike any other episode that I've ever done, this was not only a violent beginning, but it was also a clusterfuck. Yeah. It is what it is, and it was what it was, so hopefully you tune in for episode two and May or may or may not be more clusterfuck, especially for the future conflict between the two countries. Because, we, for the first three years of this game, we kind of got off to the wrong start. So, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, and hopefully, hopefully Voyan doesn't screw up this next one. So, see you later. Lock of notes. Dobra nuts. There you go. That's the check. Good night. Good night.